At this point, I'd welcome any form of intelligent life that might conceivably help us. On a time-honored edition of Monster Madhouse with Carlos Morla. You are obviously devoid of any kind of mechanical aptitude, right? mechanical aptitude whatsoever. I know that you find this very difficult to comprehend, but let me assure you, the system is foolproof. Ladies and gentlemen, have no fear, for the Monster Madhouse is here to have strange toes may linger inside. We men of the Madhouse are ever your guide. On haunted patios, which twin columns white, we wish you an honorable night. 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 Okay. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't know we were on. Is it Wednesday? It's Monster Madhouse. <laughs> Whoa. Of course, the gang here, as usual. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something always that monsters do. What do monsters do? What don't they do? We don't know. So, we're here to find out. That's what Monster Madhouse is all about. We watch these monster movies and show them to you just in case this really happens. You know what I mean? Uh, what to do in case of a monster attack. So, Doctor, Finger, where's Finger? Finger. Finger, yeah, Finger is our leading uh, scientist in the entire uh, thing here. Of He's very organized with his equipment. He manufactures our weapons to fight the monster. Yeah, how to make them big, how to make them small, how to do all kinds of things. What's going on today, Doc? Well, I'm just giving the monsters their annual checkups uh, no. that I do once a week. Who do we have here today? Uh, well, right there. Well, well, Gargalon, yeah, yes, Gargalon. Gargalon, high five, Gargalon. Ah. Gargalon, the monster from hell. Yes, he is from hell, and he did. And of course, we have Asphyxia here who is holding the monster steady because when the monster has a chain on it, of course, it can't move. Right? Right, that's what I thought. Uh, 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 hey, what's, what's going on, man? Is he okay over? No, this is this bug creature again. What is? Well, this thing doesn't even have a name. It's so weird. We don't even know what it's called. Uh, not yet. We'll figure something out, though. I'm sure. I'm gonna try. Where's Frank? Frank? Uh, it's slow, Frank. <laughs> Frank, what's going on? What are you doing? You're running around. Yeah. What's going on? Uh, we're thinking about doing a study today, man. Why do monsters fight? Why are they always so mean to each other? You know, like, the monster sees another monster and it just wants to go, bam! They just want to fight. You know, every time they get together. What is it? Frankenstein and the Wolfman, what do they do? They fight! They fight! Frankenstein meets the mummy, what do they do? They fight! Bam! They fight! Monsters just always want to fight. They're never nice to each other. So we want to find out now, Frank, this bug monster, take a look at this thing. <laughs> now we're going to try to communicate with this thing. Ready? <laughs> hey, we're going to have to try to crack the code on these monsters. But today's special is all about monster fights. So let's cut into some monster fighting right now. Just a small example. rocket ship to unexplored planets, captured by unknown powers. Yogg, monster from space. You are powerless against me. irresistible, terrorizing monster. We have merged ourselves into the giant crab of the jungle turtle. Monsters never before seen. Yeah. 
the unconquerable, the unbelievable. Yog, monster from space. Höchste Gefahr für die Weltausstellung. Die modernsten Bauwerke aller Nationen kurz vor der Eröffnung von Jigar bedroht. Katastrophenalarm. Immer mehr Hotelbuchungen werden zurückgezogen. Wenn es uns nicht in allernächster Zeit gelingen sollte, Jigger zu beseitigen, wird es uns nicht möglich sein, die Ausstellung zu eröffnen. Das hat uns die Teufelspfeife eingebrockt. Also, meine Herren, lassen wir uns was einfallen. Ja, das ist Jigger. Ja, das ist Jigger. Jigger, das größte von Frankensteins Monstern, ist aus tausendjährigem Schlaf aufgeschreckt. Die Vernichtung der Erde steht bevor. Die Menschheit ist hilflos. Kann Gamera noch helfen? Gamera gegen Jigar. Frankensteins Dämon bedroht die Welt. So, das macht doch Gamera, habt ihr mir gesagt. Gamera ist tot. Jigar hat ihn wahrscheinlich auf dem Gewissen. Ist Gamera vielleicht doch noch zu retten? Zwei mutige Jungs versuchen es. Mr. Ryosako, ist das U-Boot auch sicher und tauchfest? Aber ja, selbstverständlich. Ich habe es jetzt nicht mal getestet. Ach, nicht doch, Vater. Aber dass die Kinder da drin sind, das ist ja ein Ding. Ich habe doch nicht im Traum daran gedacht, dass Kinder damit mein Tauchversuch unternehmen. Mit dem Mini-U-Boot wagen sie sich in Gameras ungeheuren Leib. Sie schaffen es. Gamera lebt und der Kampf der beiden Giganten beginnt. Gamera gegen Jigar. Frankensteins Dämon bedroht die Welt. Die Statue bleibt, wo sie ist, sonst würde Jigar frei werden. Bitte, Exzellenz, einen Augenblick. Nein, das kann ja nicht gut gehen. Das halten Kameras Trommelfälle nicht aus. Bestimmt nicht. Jigar setzt überirdische Vernichtungswaffen ein. Aber Gamera hat noch ganz andere Überraschungen. Gamera gegen Jigar. Frankensteins Dämon bedroht die Welt. Hier präsentieren die japanischen Trickmeister den absoluten Punkt ihres Filmschaffens. Dieser Film ist das bisher sensationellste aus der unheimlichen Welt Frankensteins. Gamera gegen Jigar. Frankensteins Dämon bedroht die Jebediah Buzzard's woods. I hear strange noises out here. Take pretty freaky, man. I think we're being followed. Let's go back to the Right the whole time. Monsters do want to fight. Now zombies get along with each other. They don't mess with each other unless they're fighting over the same piece of meat, but they instantly know that they're a zombie. 
We have a special guest in here that we've flown in, Dr. Finger. Finger. Is she here? Oh, yes, yes she is. Ladies and gentlemen, Sally, the zombie cheerleader. <laughs> here she comes. Yeah, look at her. There she is. Sally, yeah. hey. Well, come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Get in here where the TV cameras can see. What's going on? Why am I here? Well, you remember, it's been television. Remember the, what? the TV Tell show. Who? Remember the TV show? Remember the TV show? Show, show, TV show me the money. You remember? Slow Frank. I remember Slow Frank. Hi. Frank. Frankenstein is technically a zombie. He's not. He's been reanimated by the doctor, Finger. not by the satellite or whatever. But he's a Nia Frankenstein. I don't know. Why don't you go talk ah. to him? Sally, no. the zombie cheerleader, ladies and germs. Hi. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> now, again, now these monster fights. Now, in Japan, forget it. The monsters in Japan, they just hate each other. They cannot stand each other. They can fight. Even Ultraman. Who were affiliated, you know, affiliated with, I can't even say affiliated, with Ultraman and the Science Patrol. Even Ultraman has to kill the monsters. That's because the monsters display. It must be the radiation. Although I have not completed my study, it appears that the radiation brings out a, a hormonal change that causes aggression. Hey, Frank, come here for a second. Where'd he go? Frank. Now, you see, Frank knows. So look, look at Frank's hand. Now you see, the monsters always, if they do have hair, it's always weird hair. You know? yeah. uh, so anyway. Are you trying to imply something? Yes. Now, here we are going to bring in, we've got some more special guests coming in. But first of all, Sally, come here. Why? We're going to cut into some Who's this? monster jab. Oh, this is Dr. Finger. Finger. Oh, you haven't met Sally the zombie. Uh, Finger, how are you? Hey, do me a favor. Take your finger, uh, stick it in your ear, uh, put tingling a loop. Uh, 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 thank you. Yeah, yeah, uh, nice, nice. Uh, yeah. Kizzy, Kizzy. Right now, we're going to cut into a quick clip of Japanese monsters kicking each other's
Wow! See what I mean? They just, they want to fight them. You gotta watch out for the Japanese monsters will kill you. And each other. Now, where's he at? Finger. 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 We have brought in, of course, we're trying to, uh, here on the planet Earth, we're trying to get an idea on, there's, there's a lot of crazy critters and characters around here. Humanoid monsters from the deep and from above. Now, uh, uh, there's one uh, from New York City, uh, of course, the office of New York. Uh, New York City? Yeah, New York City. They sent, or have they sent the girl from New York? Nah, the girl from New York. The girl from New York. The girl monster chick from New York. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Can yeah. you do me a favor? Go get her. Uh, let's it. see. She's around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, no, not me. I'm not from New York City. Uh, I'm not the girl from New York City either. Ah, oh! Ah, who are you? Ah, What's happening? Oh, my finger. Whoa. Holy crap. Take a look at her face. Look at her face. Look at her face. My God, look at you. Look at your face. Wait, oh, you got a ray gun. Good. Oh, oh, they, they did some. Oh, 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 Put weapons and yep, she's got the knee pads on for and then the thing. And look at oh my god, she's got the monster fighting boots on too. Look at this. Imagine getting kicked in the skull with those. <laughs> wow, now that's pretty amazing. I like that, you know. Of course, I've got my monster madhouse uh, crap kickers on too. Here, this is mostly through for walking through the monster dung, you know, with these giant monsters, of course. Uh, Dr. Finger has shrunk them down. But when they're 30 stories tall and they pinch a loaf, it's a couple of blocks long and there's skulls they're like and moon skeletons. Shoes. Bingo. They're like moon shoes, man. They're on the moon. moon. Connect four. It is like, wow, I can see myself, my hand through the thing. You gotta have cool boots to fight monsters. And Ray got, look at these guys. What is it? They're synchronizing. You see, Frank is learning. Through imitation, he learns. it's just like everything else. There is nothing such as such thing as an original thing in show business. Everything's ripped off from something else, as you can see. I don't know, but listen, we are going to cut into how about some more monster fighting. Uh, what's, a, what's a good monster fight you can think of? How about how about the Phantom of the Opera versus Doctor Jekyll and Mister Hyde? But also Frank versus that Frank man. Yeah, we're gonna see that. Yeah, ready? Frank, go for it. Yes. Fine. Frank. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. Don't take don't his head off. Something else will emerge from my finger goes into emergency surgery. Yeah, I'm gonna fix my <laughs> Vom alten Grafen weiß man's ja. Doch was treibt Lady Dracula? Ist es nicht etwas spät für Herrenbesuch? <lacht> Wir schreiben 1976. Da ist es für Herrenbesuch nie zu spät. Aber jetzt ist Schluss mit dem Spaß. Jetzt geht's heim zur Mutter. Ein Vampir mit seinen Hauern beißt Minister und auch Bauern. Bin ich ein Verblichener? Nichts weiter als ein Gabelfrühstück. Ein Vampir liebt die Methodik. In seinen Zähnen liegt Erotik. Wenn Sie mich fragen, da keine Thesen, Eddie. Keinerlei Gewaltanwendung. Ich frage mich einfach nur, wo das Blut ist. Der Vampir. Äh. Halten Sie doch die Klappe. Und als was hat er mich gesehen? Als Vampir. Mit Flügeln und solchen Zähnen. Dann muss er aber sehr betrunken gewesen sein. <lacht> Sag ihm, das ist ein sehr schöner Sarg mit einer Komtesse drin. Lady Dracula in Liebe, Freund im Sarge, ihrem Triebe. 
Auch Lady Dracula im Kummer erlaubt sich mal eine kleine Nummer. Wenn das so weitergeht, werde ich ordinär. Oh, pardon. Aber diese Vampirmorde kosten uns die letzten Haare. Vampirmorde? Ich nenne sie so. Er lebt wieder? Oh! Ist alles in Ordnung? Ja. Kennen Sie diesen Mann? Nein. Hat er Sie belästigt? Das geht's ja. Ein Vampir in seiner Not beißt einfach zu und man ist tot. Hat der Vampir beim Blut die Wahl, ist Rot und Blau ihm ganz egal. Aber ich brauche keine zwei Minuten, um dich wegen Mordverdachts zu verhaften. Seit wann fürchten Sie sich vor einer Leiche? Sie haben sich ja auch gefürchtet. Ich habe mich gefürchtet, weil Sie sich gefürchtet haben. <lacht> Jung Frankenstein ein alter Hut, wenn Lady Dracula es tut. Um ein Mord eben noch ein Mord. Hier sieht man, wie den Kommissar vor Lust beißt Lady Dracula. Oh, verzerrt. willst, dann sagst du jetzt schön, was du gesehen hast. <lacht> Nichts. Mit Lady Dracula im Arm wird jeder kalt und keiner warm. Ich nehme Ihre Einladung gerne an. Ah ja, muss ja nicht heute sein. Ich bin ja noch ein paar Tage hier. Gehen Sie doch weg! Was ist denn mit Ihnen? Es gibt doch keinen Grund, sich zu fürchten. Doch, doch, lassen Sie mich! Lady Dracula voll Glut schlürft täglich gut fünf Liter Blut. Kaum ist sie dort, schon ist sie da, die blonde Lady Dracula. Jeder strebt zu Ruhm und Licht. Lady Dracula tut sowas nicht. Ein Vampir in Leidenschaft raubt jedem Menschen Kraft und Saft. Hier sieht man, was noch keiner sah, so treibt die Lady Dracula. Wow! You never know what's gonna happen. Oh, like that, yeah, now... Uh, you're talking about monster fights? You have to talk about... The woman monsters, they really like to fight. No, why, why, why? Now you see, the women monsters, they don't even really fight that much, so they just come in and they just kill you. Female monsters don't even want to fight, you don't even see them, they just kill you and they're gone. Like the wasp woman. Uh, what was the other one? The, uh, the attack of the 50 foot woman, that was a good one. Imagine that. Uh, where's my phone? Call up Captain Mango, out on the ghost ship on the high seas. Bone here, Captain Mango. Oh, Mango! Can you hear me? Can, can you hear me now? Hello, Mango. Are, are you here? Is the ship here? It looks like somebody's <laughs> private parts or something. That's weird. It smells like baloney. Oh. We're gonna cut to some other weird stuff. Mango, are you in the parking lot with the ghost ship? Yeah. He's here. Aha, <laughs> special delivery. Female monsters from beyond the grave. On Monster Madhouse, right after this. Comes the experiences of a she creature. Screen Life by Chester Morris, Marla English, Kathy Downs, Lance Fuller, Tom Conway, Frida Innescourt, and Ron Randall. It's an adventure into the occult, such as few people have known, and only those who see it can believe. You're not going for that supernatural hokum of his. I don't really know what I'm going for. I know he's a killer. Now you are traveling back through time and space. Father... Father back. Back. Under his spell, she was both herself and another being. The she-creature seeking life sustenance from the stolen heartbeats of others. She was a woman born to be loved. 
And two men want her. One a man whose powerful mad mind controlled her every reflex except her love. No! The other willing to fight any odds for her love. You've been living in shadows. I want to bring you back to life. Society dances to hide the hysterical terror caused by their sudden intimacy with death. Forever closer comes the she-creature. <laughs> Three, two, one, and what? You know, it's the end of the world, people. The monsters are real and they're attacking. All kinds of weird stuff going on. Monsters always fight each other. That's how you know if you're ever in a monster situation from a movie, get the two monsters together. They will not join forces. They will kill each other. And they'll probably kill you while they're killing each other. Oh, Frank, man, that is weird looking. Look at Frank's head. Oh, my God, his hair's gone. Hey, my hair. All right. Hold on. Are you going to be able to fix that later? Oh, yeah. Because it's weird looking. You don't like the impromptu circumcision? Come on. Control room. Yes. Let Captain Mango and his guest in. Oh, yes, they're in the green room. Here he comes. Oh, our treasure from the seven seas. What is that? Is that oh, dinner? Got, it's a, a mermaid. mermaid. Look at the flippers on this flipper flapper. What in the world is this? That you can swim as fast as a dolphin. Don't oh, leave that. What's your name? America. 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 How cute. Look at the smile on this girl's face. Look at the, look at the smile. Look at the butt on this girl. I bet she can swim as fast as a monkey. Pretty funny. Now, what are you going to do with her? Are you going to carry her around? Uh, we, we need a rock. You need a, a rock. What about Afghanistan? Oh, you mean like a rock? A rock. Soon. Do you have Soon. one? Soon. Yes. Yes. Oh, Soon. Get the roadies. We need the <laughs> roadies. Need the roadies. All right, everybody stand back. Roadies. Yeah, we got the roadies coming in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Carrying in the rock. Watch it. It's heavy. The rock. The rock. It's heavy. The rock. We got the 50 rock. The rock. 50 rocks here. There you go. Whoa. That's a rock, all there right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Happy. Does it look good? You're happy. Uh, what's, what's going on back at the uh, out on the road with the band thing? Do you need nothing right now? Nothing. Okay, all right, get, I'll get, let you know when. Right, take my money here. Just get on there. Yeah. It's a flip. I know. I like. Well, it. look at this. When are we gonna chop her up? This is pretty cool. I don't know, man. I, I think you. you. Are you friendly? Uh, start here. Fucking bug monster. Now, now listen. Now hold on. Now hold on. Shut up for a second. Shut up for more. You shut up. We should have never taught zombies. Now this is a female monster. This is a perfect example. Now I'm sorry, sweetheart, but a mermaid is pretty as you are. And you probably know all kinds of horrible secrets from the bottom of the sea, don't you? Yeah. Yes, she does. Look at that. Have you ever been to Davy Jones' locker? Once or twice. Yeah, I knew it, Captain. Yeah. What do you think? Where'd you find her? Oh, I found her out in the bottom of the deepest water in the seas. I, I threw a, 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 a... There she was. Wow. And I measured her. What she it was too big to throw back. Now, now, let's get a good look at her now. That's pretty uh, interesting. Take a uh, now you brought the rock too. That's just like the, this is kind of how you hang out at the bottom of the sea there. Yeah, just hanging. Just kind of hanging out on the rock. You're not afraid of like bug monsters or giant sea monsters. No. Are there a lot of mermaids down there? Oh, just a few. Now we're gonna cut into a couple of clips of really scary stuff of female monsters that will kill you. Uh, here's a clip from the Wasp Woman. Supposing a more powerful form of royal jelly could be obtained. From the queen wasp, for example. Socially, the queen wasp is on level with a black widow spider. Oh, no, 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 no. There might be danger. Those are my terms, Mr. Pedro. Janice Stalin will be your next guinea. Pig. A woman of fantastic desires. Sponsoring a scientist with fantastic theories and demanding fantastic results. How old do I look? Tell me! How old? 23. Ah! 
enzymes. The enzymes, they're, they're going crazy. Miss Darling will kill her and tear her body to shreds. <laughs> Pacific Island, where an expedition of world-famous scientists investigate incredible rumors of its fantastic mysteries and discover barren volcanic mountains surrounding strange green valleys. Mammoth caves that breed giant mutations. Vampire plants that devour humans. But most astounding of all, the tiniest women in all creation. Sacred beauties of a lost tribe which worships a monstrous creature. What is the secret of Mothra? What is the bizarre spell that awakens Mothra? As these doll-sized girls call to the super god from captivity. Mothra, whose revenge is more devastating than any man-made weapon. Mothra, who defies warplanes. Wrecks ocean liners. Smashes dams and bridges. Mothra, creating hurricanes. Mothra, enveloped in a shell that no human force can penetrate. Mothra, indestructible, all-powerful, indescribable. What kind of creature is this god monster, Mothra? Wow. Freaks me out. Now, the thing, of course, is the, the female monsters, you know, they don't warn you. They don't fight with you. They just kill you. They go right in for the... And they, they get you. No oh, discussion or anything. Oh, look at that. These girls are scheming over here. I don't know what they're doing, but... They're talking about stuff. I'm trying to figure out where the tender spot is on the fleshy. Well, generally, you got a fillet of fish, right? You got a fillet of fish. But this is not a fillet show. We're not going to show any fillets. No, today. To today is not the fillet show. Right. We're going to do the actual. The yeah, show. today's not the fillet. No fillet is the show. Today's not the fillet show. But now we're just having a slow Frank in his weird forehead. Where'd he go? Frank, poor guy. Oh, Frank, come here, Frank. <laughs> Doctor Franker, come here. Oh, uh, while we go to this break, uh, will you go do some surgery and put this guy's head back together? We're gonna cut into well, some more. Find what's left of his head. Uh, just, just go. <laughs> oh, One, two, five, I'm gonna wake you up, but when you wake up, you're going to feel amazing. Like you just had a nap, and you're gonna want to jump up and down because you feel so good. One, two, three, four, five. Wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. Woo! Wow. I feel. As you can see, hypnosis works. Oh. All right. Well, thank you so much. That was a great I'm little session. <laughs>
50 foot woman right here at Monster Madhouse. a normal, voluptuously beautiful woman. She drove into a nightmare of horror and saw descending from the sky a titanic monster whose fearsome touch became a frightful curse. You think I'm drunk, don't you? All of you! I'm not drunk! I'm not! You've got to believe me! Please. It was right in the middle of the highway, 30 feet tall! Once she's in the booby hatch, Throw the key away. That'll put you in the driver's seat. You'd make a wild driver, Harry. For 50 million bucks. What she saw was beyond belief until others, too, faced its hideous, uncontrollable menace. Attack of the 50-foot woman, incredibly huge, with incredible desires for love and vengeance. All her life, no one took Nancy very seriously. Her husband is cheating on her. Her father puts her down. In the car, Nancy. I'll get into the car. car. Then, one night, she saw something in the desert that was larger than life. Now, she's starting to grow. The situation is serious, Harry. I'm concerned about the strain. Come and look at the stars with me. Are you all right? You and I have a lot to discuss. Doctors think being that size puts a strain on her heart. I doubt they'd be surprised if she keeled over like a mighty redwood. There are pleasures waiting for you that no one has even dreamed of. What did you expect me to do? Get a wetsuit and a flashlight? I'm gonna pop your head like a little Concord grape! <laughs> She's bigger. Finally, her father has started looking up to her. Hamilton, isn't that your little girl? Her husband is listening to her. Miss me. I don't suppose you want to hear my side of this. And at long last, Nancy is going to get what she deserves. Big time respect. Nancy got big. Got mad. Make me. And got even. Daryl Hannes. In her biggest role ever, Attack of the 50 Foot Woman. How'd she get so big? Harry! Wow! That was pretty cool. Steven Spielberg, you guess what we're allowed to show your stuff because you made it. One minute and 30 seconds. The fair use law and the copyright of the United States and Congress of America allows us to use one minute and 30 seconds of anything that we want to show if we're talking about it. Star Wars. Let's talk about Star Wars. You can talk about it for a minute and 30 seconds. Right? They got a new movie coming out with uh, George Hamilton, George Lucas. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenosha. Who else was in this movie? The Obi Star Wars. Wanna do you? Who? Chewy. Chewy. You like you like you like the Chewbacca, don't you? Come here, I want to talk to you for a second. You got 55 seconds. Now you like uh, yep. do you like the space movies or the horror movies? Since she's a doll, of course. You like Chucky. You like Chucky. Annabelle. I don't even know what that is. Is there a movie trailer for it? Okay, we're gonna show it right now. John, wake up. What's that? 
door, I heard a scream. Stay here. I'll go check it out. John? Is everything all right? Oh my God, they're covered in blood. Go back inside. It's not mine. It's not. Go back inside and call an ambulance right now. Go! You survived. You don't come out the other side of something like this weaker. What is there left to be scared of? This is the last of them. How did that get in there? I swear, I threw it out. Things must have got mixed up. There, she fits right in. is a ghost. Sometimes, demons can attach themselves to objects. What do I do? Protect your family. That was weird. Trilogy of Terror, the little mucky muck dude. What's that guy's name? Sally, come here for a second, quick! Quick, what's he called? What does he say? How does he talk? Oh, I What is it called, though? Oh, that guy in Trilogy It's called a Zimbabwe Zimbo doll or something. Yeah, the doll, the doll goes, hey, 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 What's that called? It's some kind of, it's a Zuni. Zuni fetish doll. Zuni fetish doll. Yeah, check it out. Here's a scene from, uh, with the Trilogy of Terror with the Karen Von Black. Yes, is that for the filet now, Cheryl? I'll filet you with a knife. Check out this scene with Karen Black. Rest in peace. Be allowed to show that in a movie. They're asphyxia. How come you're still breathing? Yeah.
Frank has A D D D D H D D plus with a little three squared next to it because he just cannot be patient. He just has to start doing stuff. Now, Frank, your head looks much better. It looks much better. Does it feel? Can you feel anything? Yeah. You can hear the sound of the echo in there. Now, look, now Frankenstein wants to fight with everybody. No. Here's. Yeah. <laughs> <Bam>. <laughs> He'll get he was hungry. He will poop that all over the place. Now look, there it is. Oh, there it is. Bad, bad gargoyle. Gargoyle. Uh, check her. Now you see now Gargoyle goes down to the bottom. These monsters go into the ocean all the time. Do you have any? So have you ever seen any of these kind of things down there in the bottom? You know? Like this? Yeah, quite. they just kind of come in and stumble, bumble around a little bit, right? They don't do a whole lot of check it. Yeah. Okay. Now, you know, these monsters Good want boy. to fight Again. with everybody all the time. They do you ever have any problems with that? Oh, yeah, they like tear down, you know, knock over stuff. You have to right kick him out and stuff. Now, Gargalon's yes. a good boy. He's a good boy! Yes. Come here, Gargalon. He's a good boy! 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 Now, I need you to check this out now. You like the fight? Yes. Like to fight the Frank, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Frank. Kill Frank. Now, of course, again, Frankenstein always wants to fight everybody. So let's check out a couple of seconds of Frankenstein versus Gargalon. Ready? One, two, three, fight! Go! Good job. You know, we just fixed his head. We had to stop that because he still got stitches. Uh, we're going to cut into a little bit of Frankenstein versus the Wolfman, as done in Spain.
Wir werden Tausende davon herstellen und sie auf die Menschen loslassen, die auf diesem Planeten leben. Ich nehme an, Sie wundern sich, warum ich gekommen bin. Glauben Sie mir, wenn ich Ihnen sagen würde, dass wir vom Planeten Humo kommen, 14 Lichtjahre von der Erde entfernt? Fingerabdrücke noch ein Motiv. Ich würde sagen, wir tappen in der Sache völlig im Dunkeln. Als ob ein Geist seine Hand im Spiel Den Geist gemacht. würde ich zunächst mal ausklammern. Frau und fühle wie eine Frau. Sie werden es sicher aus dem gleichen Grund tun, aus dem Sie Kirian getötet haben. Und zwar aus Eifersucht. guy's name? Paul Nashy. Paul Nashy. Paul Nashy. Paul Nashy. What do you Give eat? Give camera one Paul. here. You look close up on my face. What do you eat so I know what you taste like when I eat you later? Paul Nashy. Hey, look, over here. You see this? Now, now listen, on Monster Madhouse, we like to show monster movies. The stuff where what you don't see is what's scary. You said you eat what, seaweed? He likes Right, right, so you seaweed and you eat it. But sometimes what you see is even scarier, and you can't unforget that. Or unforget that? Can you unforget anything? It's unforgettable! Get it with it. Yes, that's right. Now let's cut into a couple of clips from uh, Paul Nash. He was in it, too. It's called, It's the Werewolf versus the Vampire Woman. That's cool. I think so. Right. <laughs> What's the turkey say? Don't care. All right. A search for an ancient tomb of a witch takes a beautiful young girl on a mission that brings her to a house of madness. She is innocent of the dangers that surround her. The storm that rages outside is an omen of the reign of terror about to begin. A strange tale of the unknown world. A world of fear where the supernatural exists. Werewolf Shadow. The full moon of the Valpurgis night brings the vampires from their graves. The early sunrise drives them back to sleep in their tombs. Vampire versus werewolf in a battle to the death. See the werewolf terrorize the countryside. Blood revives a 400-year-old vampire witch. A strange love story that is destined to end in tragedy. A mad woman seeks revenge from all who come to the hidden valley. A policeman finds superstition and ignorance, creating a dead end to his investigation of the village's mysterious disappearances and deaths. <coughs> Werewolf Shadow. No one can escape the vampires. Nothing can stop them. See the deadly curse that can only be destroyed by a loved one. Werewolf Shadow. The full moon gives power to the living dead. A beautiful young girl destroyed by evil forces. 
a stolen moment of love before death is to strike. A co-production of Hi-Fi Stereo and Plata Films. See vampires kill in their quest for blood. Blood, the essence of the living dead. See this. She might be hungry. She looks I don't like see any weed. I haven't seen any weed in a long time. I no. bet you want to see some weed, don't anybody you? Anybody have any weed? I would like to uh, see some weed. I, weed? Is that for the fellatio? You see some weed? Got 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 now listen. <laughs> no seaweed? <laughs> We're in the middle of the show now, and I we don't seaweed. know what the hell to do. So guess what? As is most television programmies, we're going to bring in a musical guest tonight. Yeah, we have got Domingo. In the house, this guy is a rapper. Oh, hey, I like rappers. You like rappers? I like it rappers. Good. Yeah, you gotta have the rapper. It keeps the thing from melting into Spicy. your Spicy. Not that kind of rapper, but a rap like artist, rapper. man. This guy is cool. Oh, hey, We're gonna I bring like him in idea. after this message. Seaweed. 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 She's talking about the seaweed. We got seaweed. seaweed. However, that is. <laughs> <laughs> of interplanetary commuting and daring astronauts are venturing beyond to far distant galaxies scientists will still be searching for the mysteries of the unknown we have amazing news for you it turns out they landed on Phobos who's they? the astronauts from the other planet the rescue ship landed here and one of them is alive you understand how important it is to keep her well and to bring her back with you safely What evil power pulsates the strange ovum the Queen is trying to smuggle to Earth? We can't let these creatures breed on Earth. Alan, that's not for us to decide. Queen of Blood. A tantalizing, mystifying enigma. We have a good supply of blood plasma with us. We'll use that to feed her. And if we run out of plasma, Commander? Earth, the 21st century, the world of the future, and lurking beyond the cold, strange immensity of conquered space, growing and spreading beyond the warped imagination of the greatest human intellect, exploding in unspeakable horror, the green. The civilized world at war with alien form, whose slimy touch means instant, horrible death. Invaders from beyond the stars, the green slime. Robert Horton. Luciana Paluzzi. Richard Jacob. You make too many mistakes. You're not right for command. This is my command, and I'll manage it. Two men struggle for survival in the infected remains of a diseased universe. Don't ask any questions. One woman.
searches for a last chance to save the human race from the desperate hunger of the green slime. A battle in space against faceless beings. A cosmic nightmare that sends you into the incredible, the short world of... Green Slime! Green Slime! Green Slime! This is Slow Frank. I'm Carlos Borloff. You're watching Monster Madhouse. Yeah. And we got monster movies and music. You like music? Yeah. yeah. You like music, Frank? Yeah. What kind of music do you like? I like rap. You like rap? Yeah. Really? Can you rap? You got any rap songs? Yeah. Go, okay. go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Frank. I don't walk the plank. I make bank. Frank. I don't walk the plank. My name is Frank. My name is Frank. 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 That's awful. Oh, my God. Oh, listen, that's not bad, but you gotta keep practicing. But guess what, man? We have a real rap guy in the house. It's it's uh, Young Mingo, and he's gonna do his new song, La Sombra. La Sombra. You ready? La Sombra. La Sombra. La sombra, la sombra, la sombra, la sombra, respecting loyalty, la sombra, la sombra, la sombra, la sombra, la sombra, la sombra. Never turn your head to your family. There's a lot of talk in the streets, no loyalty. Make money, turn it royalty. Call me Micah and the art to a poetry. But with my card, I'm ace high, la sombra, I'm damn fly. My baby, you know what it do Easy for me, I'm like, easy for you Looking at you, it's like, what did he do? La Sombra, La Sombra Ain't in my house, sipping no doubt One is the route, what that about? La Sombra, La Sombra, La Sombra We taking them out I'm turning it up and I'm turning it in But I'm turning it on and straight turning it out Cashing in, straight cashing out Hot models in the house and they twerking out Till they catch me, you know what the game about Split flames on the lane, cause it's changing without Yeah, I'm even in the game, show the games about Only name in the comes in my bank account La Sombra, La Sombra, La Sombra, La Sombra, La Sombra Respect your loyalty, La Sombra, La Sombra La Sombra, La Sombra, La Sombra, La Sombra Never turn your head to your family La Sombra, La Sombra, La Sombra, La Sombra Respect your loyalty, La Sombra, La Sombra, La Sombra, La Sombra, La Sombra, La Sombra Never turn your head to your family Mi casa, su casa, la familia, la raza, nueva, yorka Sandview, the Bronx, the Umbra, la sombra, darkness, chupacabla. Uh, you can tie in at the negro, Puerto Rico, yo soy el latino. He fucked a leaper, pecked on. Yo tengo respect to my vino. Mi mujer es tan bonita. Es cosa la chica de Puerto Rico. Tenemos un momento en la comida. Me brinda la linda mi isla, la sombra. Coming the game, taking the pain, rocking the chain, bringing the pain, mine's insane. La sombra, making it rain. What I can claim, doing my thing. Oh, what a shame. Mingo's the name. La sombra, la sombra, la sombra, la sombra, la sombra. Respect your loyalty. La sombra, la sombra, la sombra, la sombra, la sombra, la sombra. Never turn your head to your family.
man. Ha, ha, ha. What do you think, man? It's pretty awesome. Yes. So what is this song about, man? Tell me. Soon, but it's like darkness. So like respect and loyalty. There's a lot of evil out there. So in the, in the streets. So it can bring the darkness. The darkness. Yeah. Like the monsters, man. You yeah, just don't monsters. know. Yeah. They're gonna get you. That's yeah. pretty cool, man. Hey, you know what? Look for this guy online, man. You're on Facebook. He's on MySpace. He's on YouTube. He's on MeTube. Now he's on TV. Dude, thank you so much for coming out. Welcome. Thank We're gonna you. cut in to a shot of, uh, let's see, let's show uh, Monster, uh, the Mummy versus the Aztec Robots Shit. on Monster Madhouse. Monster Madhouse. Let's Madhouse. Let's Madhouse. Let's Madhouse. Let's Madhouse. Let's Madhouse. Let's Madhouse. of evil comes a diabolic killer of beautiful women. The vampire's coffin. See a vampire's body stolen from its tomb. A psycho killer removes the stake so the vampire can again prey on beautiful women. And to complete a double night of horror, a monster's nightmare of terror, turn loose in a fight to the death. The robot versus the Aztec mummy. They will bring you a night of terror. to see them, but don't come alone. Ah! The Vampire's Coffin in an all-new double horror on my show with The Robot versus the Aztec Mummy, presented in Hypnoscope. The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. A bandage and bone monster stalking the cryptomaniacs who defiled its tomb of terror. And the Gorgon. A she-monster who turns living, screaming flesh into silent stone. It's a two-for-one monster bazaar. Two terrific terrors for the price of one. With the never-before-offered special free bonus. Black stamps of your favorite monsters for the first 10,000 people in line. It's the curse, the curse of the mummy's tomb and the Gorgon. He said the Gorgon, both in petrifying color, you know, they will frighten you. Yeah. It's a two-for-one monster bazaar. Two terrific terrors for the price of one. With the never-before-offered special free bonus. Black stamps. It's the curse, the curse of the mummy's tomb and the Gorgon. It must be a male. Yes, it is a male. I think he likes me. That does. No. Oh, what kind of show is this? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to 
be late! One for spooky movie, please. Here you go. Enjoy the show. Oh, you are a spooky It's that time again. The 10th annual spooky movie international horror film festival. <laughs> Keep telling yourself that it's just a festival. Just a festival. <laughs> Change my pants. Huh? That's right. Yeah. When you change your pants, the whole rock and world changes its pants with you, brother. I'm telling you. So, you have to be all oh, the oh, fitting pants. <laughs> <laughs> you like monster movies, man? Occasionally, yeah. He does. He does. Uh, what would be your favorite monster of all time? Favorite monster from the movie? Either the thing from the second version or Alien. Alien? Can you imagine Alien versus the thing? No. Well, the thing would win. It absolutely would. Geiger, Geiger. Geiger. Sam Winston right. made it happen. Right, right. He right. took the vision and created it. Now, did Winston... Incorrect info, boys and girls. See? <laughs> you learn right there, here on Sunset Boulevard. Boulevard. We'll see this guy on the road. Uh, go to what? Motorhead.com? Yeah, I, I Motorhead. I Motorhead.com. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Here in Southern Cal, we're looking for the monsters. There was a big earthquake earlier today, 5.8 on the Richter scale. So we know there's something big around here somewhere. But you've got some of the local civilian population here and see what they know about this. Best steak and lobster in LA. <laughs> What's this I see down here? What do we got? What do we got? There's something going on down there, whatever that is. Uh, it's uh, under Joey Burger. Uh, you don't know him? You don't know him? Hot, sweaty girls. Like watching the monster madhouse. The madhouse. Jason Gibbs. And he made my day. He made my dream come true. Got a hug and a kiss. Happy birthday wishes. Badass. It's out? Is this I don't know. We'll find out. Probably should. Have. Nobody should ever know. <laughs> <laughs> Can I buy her? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for some R&R, &R, a little fast action. Well, I got my uh, requisition order going in. <laughs> Your favorite movie monster? Um, I had too many. I like zombie movies. So Here on your shirt. Mm -hmm. All right, now leave me alone, man. I'm trying to work. 
time on your hands. He needs something that's going to occupy his time and possibly ruin him. Can you make him a woman? Make him a woman. Yes, let's make him a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have accomplished what you had wanted me to do. Did you make him a woman? Oh, yeah. Please meet Frankinella. Come on. Oh, no. no. Is Frankie. What is this? Ah! Yes, get it in there nice and tight, dear. Ah! Doctor, I said make him a woman. I meant create him a woman. Not turn him into a woman so that he would leave oh, me alone. Oh, no. you mean, oh, don't. Make him a woman, not make him a woman. Did you mean to create, create a woman? woman. Yes, create Another a woman, woman create to a keep woman. him occupied. Yes. Oh my, I do believe I made a mistake. Yes. <laughs> what are you doing? Back to the drawing board. Get stuff in his bra. Oh. Okay. Frank, I gotta do something about Frank. You're annoying. Oh. We need to give him a woman. I told Dr. A to make him a woman, and uh, he made him into a woman. He had to change him back. So, hopefully, we'll see what he's come up with. Mr. What? I've done it. What have you done? I've done it. He's done it. It's a lie, I've done it, sweetie. This is. The bride, Frank. Oh, help me, Mr. Bornoff. Help, help me. Oh, it's just yes. Spin her around this way. Yes, there, there we go. There what? we go. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Now well, I want you good. to meet the bride. Oh, Frank. Yes, yes sweetie. I'm going to leave. Turn around, sweetie. Sweetie. Uh -huh. Sweetie. Come on. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 Look at Frank! Look at Frank! No! No, no! Look at Frank! Look at him! 
That's why they call them bugs, because they bug you. Do you guys like bugs? Yes. Girls no. like bugs. Flies. And you're blocking the camera. Stand back here with me. Get back in the back of the thing with the... God. All right, yeah. Now, I'll tell you what. These bug movies. Now, bugs are other things that always want to fight each other. You can put a couple of spiders together. They're going to roll around, and they're going to fight. If you get a bug and a lizard, they're going to fight. And the lizard's gonna eat the bug. And if you get a bug and like say a rabbit, nothing's gonna happen. So we're gonna cut into some scenes of some bug monster fights. What do you think? You like bug monster fights? There are zombie sure. bugs, sure. Zombie bugs. Zombie bugs are good. What, what, what are you talking about? Zombie bugs. Zombie bugs. Would that be zombugs? Zombugs, that's right. Is there a such I don't think there's a such thing. We're gonna cut into some scenes of bug monsters fighting, eating people. Hey, watch it! Fight. Bug monsters. All right. You wouldn't taste good anyway. I didn't like bug monsters. We may be witnessing the beginning of an era that will mean the complete annihilation of man. Annihilation? beginning of the end. A menace so massive, so overwhelming, that thousands upon thousands are propelled into senseless terror. Panic takes the place of planned evacuation, and whole cities are paralyzed by fear. The Air Force is standing by with an atom bomb. You can't drop an atom bomb on Chicago. Check out the Monster Madhouse channel. 
Monster Madhouse channel, Made in America. You got the Monster Madhouse channel on Amazon, and the Monster Madhouse channel on Roku. These kids really love monster movies. And the reason we all love monster movies is because we're all monster kids. Kids like flashlights and guns. Here, go ahead, take this. All right, you got it all, buddy. Check out the Monster Madhouse channel. The Monster Madhouse channel, made in America. You got the Monster Madhouse channel on Amazon, and the Monster Madhouse channel on Roku. When something's gonna come out of nowhere and kill you. Yeah, right there. There's the camera. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, these movies. Start right now. Good. Phone's ringing. Hello? Oh. You hear? Yeah, it's a gorilla on the phone. What's it? Hello? Oh, he's knocking at the door. Hold oh, on, wait a second. It's the escape of the gorilla. Are you the gorilla? <laughs> He's the good gorilla in the mouth. Yeah, put the balloon on him. Get him. Ah, ah, get him. Oh, oh, that's always a good test. You know when a gorilla goes to the dentist? Yeah. Any damn time he wants to. Yeah. Are you from Brooklyn? <laughs> New York. He's from the Brooklyn gorilla. I got official professional script writers that write this stuff for us. Yeah. Like screamer breath. Did you notice that? Go, go, Green Man versus the original King Kong from King Kong versus Godzilla. Green Man, go! No, wait, wait. King Kong versus Godzilla. Wow, can you imagine it? I won. King Kong? No, only in the American version. But nothing, nobody can stop the great showdown when King Kong and Godzilla meet to fight for survival of the fittest. You know what though, man? They put that movie out like that. It was supposed to come out like last May? No, they lied. They lied. It didn't come out, but it was done. God, did this God. Godzilla versus Kong. They don't even call him King. King! Oh! No! He's actually on a ship, shipping ship. He's a pretty big monkey. Ship, ship, Careful! Ship. But here he is. Here's the trailer for ship, shipping ship. Kong. <laughs> Skull Island. Surprise wow. Samuel L. Jackson didn't say mother in wow. this movie. Yeah. King of Kong Island! And my son and I'm Irish, I don't do it. Don't do it! You get God! Yeah. So, what are you gonna do? But, yeah, do the balloon. Get, get. Oh, yeah? That's yeah. a monkey. Look at that. Oh! That's a monkey. That proves Definitely it. a gorilla. You know, Bella Lugosi was Dracula. 
in the movie. Remember that? He did play Frankenstein. Oh. That was one of those leech monsters. I'm sure I've seen that before. They came out of nowhere. They did. Oh. And that was freaky, man. Yeah. Yeah. Freaked me out. The white zombie with the eyebrows. Yes, yes. Bella up in Baltimore, he'd be like, excuse me, I have to go get some hell. Yeah, he would be like, blah. <laughs> We have about as much taste as a freaking piece of tinfoil you're chewing up after you go to the dentist. Uh, hey, it's working. Hold on, let me turn around the thing. Oh, wow. Hey, there we are. Two. That's a white. Oh, he just kicked it. it. That's a white. Ow! Oh, ah! It's the Sasquahanna Head Company. <laughs> the Sasquahanna Head Company. It even draws a seven. It's a seven. Okay, we got a seven. You pick okay. the card. Craps. You win nothing. Mecca, 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 m
laugh so hard, you'll gag and choke and scream. This is so sick. The Worm Eaters. The Worm Eaters. Beautiful girls. Good guys. Bad guys. Lots of yummy food with worms. Worms. Everywhere. Like a friend. You will see a motion picture that is shocking, gruesome, scary, vile, ugly, nightmarish, and hysterically funny. <laughs> the Ted P. Michaels production of Herb Robbins, The Worm Eaters. Now, what kind of monster movies do you like? What kind of monster movies do you find appealing? Like, what do you like? Uh, well, all of them. Really, all of them? I, I, I guess, I don't know. Now, you look like you got the devil horns and all this stuff. Now, you like the weird, scary stuff, don't you? Yeah. Ones that are creepy, sometimes corny. Corny is good. Very visually, like, great to watch. Right. Lots what about of cool special effects, you know? What about cruel and evil? Yeah, sure, cruel and yeah. evil. And what, 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 is, what is your, what, you want to show a scene from a, a freaky scene of some freaky female monsters. What do you want to show? What about the evil dead? Okay. The evil dead right now, check it out. Your girlfriend, you take care of her. Apparently. I don't know. She couldn't be any worse.
than any of the other tramps that I've been with. Wait a second. No, look! Ah! Okay, let me try. Let me see. She likes. I think she's eating them. I don't know. I guess, uh. I guess it was a complete failure, Mr. Bullock. So, Doc, <laughs> is there any way to get rid of her, or are we kind of stuck with her for now? I'm afraid temporarily we're stuck with her. Let me ask you. Do you like monster movies? Do you like monster movies? Monster movies. <laughs> monster, monster movies. Monster. Yes, darling. Do you like monster movies? Monster. Why? Monster. Big, scary oh. monsters. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's it, Doc. Do you like those kind of movies, monster movies? <laughs> Doc, you're freaking around. Hold on, I think I know how to take care of this. Actually, after further examination, I think we may have to take her back into the laboratory. <laughs> 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 Anyway, <laughs> uh, well, I do a little bit of uh, investigation. Hmm. You did a pretty fine job putting this one together here. Look at all this, man. The doc did a great job. Um, wow, this is, hmm, I don't know, let's see. I don't know how he managed to get all of these parts together. I wonder what we could use her for some kind of, uh, you know what? She does have electronic parts, and I think we might be able to. That's right. <laughs> plastic flowers. Plastic flowers. She loves you not. So, um. Right. So, anyway, what I'm wondering is what can we really do with a Frankenstein chick? I mean, what, uh. I guess we could show some scenes from Lady Frankenstein. Do you like Lady Frankenstein? No man can escape her web of terror. There has never been a movie like Lady Frankenstein. Hey, I'm right. We might be able to actually put her to work somewhere, uh, somewhere in the Monster Madhouse. Because you can never really underestimate the power of a woman, especially when it comes to really messing things up in horror. I mean, look, it's the face of horror and the body of horror, too. But, I don't know. Look, oh, she got a boo boo. Oh. Listen. Oh. Oh. She got a boo boo! Oh. Oh. What we're gonna need to do is take you and plug you back into the machine. How's that sound? Boo boo. Yeah, we're gonna kiss your, kiss your boo boo right now. Now that movie, when I first saw it on VHS in 1982, freaked me out. I couldn't drive an Oldsmobile anymore because, you know, you get stuck, the thing breaks down, and you're at the cabin, and you're toast. You could drive? You could drive, I that's right. you drove. Yes, I, I do rest. indeed, a sedan. How about, how about you, little mermaid fishy girl? What was your name again? 
Huh. Oh yeah, Amerika. That what is that? How does what does that mean? Um, my name's Erica. Yeah. Uh -huh. And where can we? Find? Are you on the Facebook? Do you have Facebook under the ocean oh, there? I certainly, certainly do. Erica Juxtapose is my Facebook. Do they have Facebook under the ocean? We sure do. What's your Facebook page? My Facebook page is Erica Juxtapose. Can you spell that for me? Right across the bottom here, check it out on Facebook. What kind of monster movie you want to see? About, I know what she wants to see. Creature from the Black Lagoon? Of course. Creature from the Black Lagoon. I want a one. big lunch plate of mermaid. Camera yes. one? <laughs> so does the doctor. couldn't explain it, but there it was, alive, in the deep, deep waters of the Amazon, a throwback to a creature that had existed a hundred million years ago, immensely strong and destructive. A woman's beauty, the bait that brought it out of its lair. See underwater thrills never photographed before. See titanic underwater battles never dreamed of before, in this most terrifying of the science fiction adventures. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Come here. Now you know why the chicks like the Creature from the Black Lagoon movie? Because he's always like this. You always see the creature. He's like this. Always carrying the weed. And he's always walking off with the chick. Now why does he do that? You know, the thing is, the monsters, they want the women. They don't want to hurt them. And they're going to kill them. They kill the men, but they always want the... <laughs> we'll be right back. So we're going to think of something. Now, how about some more monster fighting? Look at these guys back here in the back. You're going to beat your brains in. I think I will. Look at these bombs up in the back. There's a reason. We put these guys in the back. They're always fighting. Come on up front, let's see. Uh, we want Big Frank and Slow Frank up in the front. Have you ever seen the movie Frankenstein versus Frankenstein? Just saying. You're gonna see it now. We're Slow Frank. Oh my god, he's frozen. Hold on, wait a second. What is that? What's wrong with Slow Frank? He snapped out of it. Will you snap him out of it, please? 
There he is. All right. There he is. He's down. Let's bring him over here. You grab one. Hey, you do need small Frank anymore. I can use All right, Frank. Come on up, buddy. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. Whoa. All right, here he comes again. Look out. Oh. Whoa. Good shot. Now that. Yeah, right, yeah. There you go, Frankenstein versus Frankenstein. There you go. Oh, oh, they're still fighting. Yeah. All right, look out. Monsters attack. This always happens at the end of the show. Tune in next time to Monster Madhouse. The monsters are all fighters. Everything's going nuts. And the monsters are all fighters. coming. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to shake your hand. Thank you, Sally. What are you doing down there? I was hungry. She's it's always sushi. on her knees. I don't know what's wrong with this girl. Thanks for tuning in to Monster Madhouse. See you next time. Bye. The door is that way. Goodbye. Bye. Go home. Go